For this part of the demo, we're going to run a model that is using an SVR plus solution type. So I'm using the same virtual machine that I used for the previous uh, simulation. If I go to hardware here, the machine is already running. And I can see the characteristics of the machine. It's a, it's the hardware type is G316X large. It's a 32 cores machine, 500 gigabytes of RAM per, per node. And it's a four NVIDIA Tesla M60 GPU cards. I'm gonna click connect. I'm going to click here in the file. So then what I need to do is authenticate with my credentials here. And I'm going to click OK to start the remote desktop session. So in the previous demonstration, we simulated the automotive radar without the platform. For this part of the demo, we're going to run the second mall that is the SVR plus solution type that is using here in excitations, right click, create antenna component, the link to source design a feature. So here, if I go to setup link, I can select that I'm going to use the previous simulated results from the automotive radar package here. I can select simulate the source design as needed. And I'm going to select the variable mapping. I can bring the variables to this uh, antenna placement characterization. I can enable mode blockage as well. And I can select mode visualization as well in order to visualize the automotive radar package placement on the platform. So here, basically, I can take a look that now as a 3D component, I have the antenna component there, which is the automotive radar package in front of the platform. That's where we're gonna characterize. So I have the excitations here. And if I go to the solution setup, it's at 77 gigahertz. We have configured the infinity sphere, that is the 3D radar array. And uh, basically here, I'm gonna just click OK. The simulation is ready to run. So there are two approaches that we can do for the simulation. The first one is by selecting simulation, validate first the mall to be sure that there are no problems with the mall. So the simulation passed successfully. Now in HPC options, I can select that. I'm gonna use the TD2 cores from the machine, the four GPUs and select okay. And then basically what I can do is select the design and analyze all. So the second approach to run this model is by using what we did in the previous uh, demonstration. If I go to the simulation tab, I select the scheduler and I select that the scheduler is going to be RSM. Click refresh. Okay. Now the second option is submit. I'm going to select submit and I'm going to select the location of the model, which is this one. And if you remember in the previous simulation, in the previous demo, we run the automotive radar package alone, which was this one. Now we're going to select the second design, which is the car uh, platform in this case. For the computer resources, we're going to select here local host. And this is an optional way to submit a job by using the workstation as a, as a, a cluster with one node. I'm gonna select the TD2 course from the machine and I can enable here the four GPUs here. This model doesn't have any parametric study. So if you have a parametric study, you can enable the number of variations that you want to distribute. I'm gonna keep it in one. And then I can select to submit. And I'm going to leave enable the begin monitoring this job right now, okay? And eventually the job status is gonna change from start monitoring to running. And we're going to need to wait for the simulation to complete. So the status has changed to running and uh, we just need to wait for the simulation to complete. So after the simulation is completed, I'm going to go to the setup profile and I'm going to check the basically the hardware that was used for the mall. It's the TD2 course here. 
90% of the RAM is 488 gigabytes of RAM. But for this case, since we were using the SBR Plus solution type, I can see that the four GPU cards were used here, the M60, four GPU cards for massive acceleration. And I can see that the total simulation time was 15 minutes with 53 seconds. So in the previous design, we run the package only. For this case, if I go to the solution setup here, to the package only, that was simulated with the same machine, the 32 cores, 90% of the RAM 488. The total time was six hours, 09 minutes and 29 seconds. So we can overlay the, the results. This is the realized gain in 3D polar plot and in radiation patterns as well. So I'm gonna right click in the 3D polar plot for the radiation for the realized gain and I'm gonna select show in molar window and I can select one of the cuts for the radiation patterns as well. And I have them all basically with the a realized gain by taking into account antenna placement on the platform. So basically the summary for this complete mall, which is an electrically large mall that is a, a very good candidate for using an SVR plus solution type. We can see that the simulation was completed in 15 minutes and 53 seconds by using all the GPU cards and four GPU cards in this case and uh, the, in this case for the automotive radar package, the total simulation time was six hours and nine minutes. So the total simulation was around six hours and 30 minutes. The maximum RAM for the finite element method part, the automotive radar only was 146 gigabytes of RAM. The maximum memory used for the SBR plus was one gigabytes of RAM. So when the simulation is completed, basically what we need to do is close the session. And we can close the virtual machine basically from here. And the last part is to do uh, to stop the virtual machine from here. So this has been the demo on how to run a mall and use GPU cards in a virtual machine, in this case via model that is using an SVR plus solution type.